We're here at the Barnesville Senior Center and things are thriving everywhere. New programs, community conversations, but with me, Maddie Noonan, Executive Director, you have so many things going on. This is gonna be a, a good update, mm -hmm. so brand new. Evening programs, mm -hmm. did we hear that correctly? You did. Evening programs. Yeah, we've been waiting a while and it's finally happening, so we couldn't be more excited. Great, so tell us a little bit. I know they're gonna start in October, but first off, give us an indication of why you started evening programming. That's a great question, Paula, and for quite a number of years here, what we've experienced with the changing generation of older adults is, and, and, and sort of the notion that people have, you know, that when you retired, you started going to the senior center and participating in activities, well, we know society has changed very much with people living longer, um, more active and productive lives. And one of the things that we've really learned um, through our experience here over the last couple of years is the whole idea of traditional retirement has gone out the window. You know, we see you go out to any of the stores around town and you'll see a lot of older adults that are still working beyond what we would have considered not too long ago as traditional retirement age when people hit 60 or 65. I and mean, we know people that are still working that are in their 80s and even 90s. And sometimes it's coming from a place where it's an economic need that people have to work, but also it's often times where people just want to have that sense of purpose, um, that they're still engaged and still contributing to society. Um, but one of the things that we've seen on our end is that it means that we have people that tell us oftentimes that they'd love to participate in all of this, you know, the great variety of activities that we have here, but because they're busy, you know, working, um, we have many older adults that are caregiving for a loved one, um, a family member, that, that our traditional hours of operation just don't meet their needs and one of the things that we really strive to be at the senior center is responsive to the needs of our older um, population and that really is our you know purpose um, and in order for us to continue um, to be responsive we've got to change our ways of doing business so the whole old models um, of a senior center you know senior centers across the country and there's somewhere between 11 and 15,000 senior centers across the United States and we're all understanding that there's a new generation of older adults um, that we really have to evolve evolve um, to continue to be relevant and to continue to meet their needs and to help them age well and improve and enrich their quality of life. So, you know, through the years, the last couple of years in particular, we've had a lot of people that have been coming. One person of note was somebody who worked um, in the school department throughout the school year and they were working um, in the cafeteria. Um, but when they were off during the summer, they were coming in and taking a lot of classes and activities here and, you know, said, this is great that I can come here during the summer, but what about the rest of the year when I'm working? You really need to be able to you know, open in the evening, and we've heard that of, of sort of you know all different stories along the same theme. So we have been working um, you know with the town um, to you know advocate for the importance of that. Um, it was also identified in our needs assessment that we did with UMass Boston um, a couple of years ago that the changing demographic and the aging of the baby boomers was really driving this need for change. The good news is this year we got funding in the budget, um, and I want to thank you know obviously our town manager Mark Ells. Our Community Services Director Lynn Poyant, um, and also our Barnstable Town Council for really being so understanding and responsive to that. Um, and I think that they really understand that in Barnstable we're very fortunate. We have a beautiful facility. We have a dedicated professional staff, and we have this, you know, future-oriented way of thinking that we want to be progressive and we want to set the example for other, um, you know, senior centres and councils on aging to lead. And so. There's a great sense of excitement and energy around this, not just on the part of the staff, but really, um, as we've been talking about this and the words getting out with our um, participants, it's it, people feel so invested in this facility and um, the fact that they know that we're trying to be more accessible um, and you know more attractive and appealing, it just gives us you know a great sense of potential for what we can become. Right, and this isn't just traditional uh, senior center activities either. It's not playing mahjong, but these are real classes and real world yeah. things that people can take back, either nutrition or exercise or uh, something new to learn. So what are some of the things that these evening classes are going to do? What are the workshops? What are they? Yeah, so we really want to expand. I mean, over the last couple of years, we've really intentionally looked at our programs, you know, our classes and activities and tried to diversify them, make them more, um, you know, more attractive to the new generation of older people. So we have such a wide array, something for all needs. When we talk about our exercise classes during the day, we have 20 plus um, different um, fitness programs. So what we really want to do is because, again, so many people cannot participate during 
during the day. We want to expand those programs. So basically, in a sense, what you see here during the day is going to continue on beyond the traditional hours. We're going to be open on Tuesday and Wednesday evenings until 8 p.m. and on Thursday evenings until 6 p.m. And that's just to start. I mean, we're hoping as we build this incrementally that we'll be able to even go beyond those hours. And our goal is really to open four evenings a week until nine. Um, but it's going to be a variety. There's going to be a lot of enrichment, education opportunities, health and wellness opportunities. We want to have um, people come in and talk about healthy aging and active living and why it's so important to stay actively engaged um, you know, as people age. And we're not just talking about what people think of as traditional um, senior center participant age, which is really 75 and over. We did a survey this year um, in the, that went out in the census forms. And we intentionally wanted to reach all of the households in, in the town because we wanted to get a sense of you know, what the senior center meant to our community and the types of programs and activities that people wanted to see us offer. And also um, you know, get a sense of you know, the, the, the types of, um, you know, that we wanted to go beyond what people, people who don't, don't identify necessarily the term senior, but that may be considered an older adult, what would bring them in the door. And what we learned from that survey, we got almost 2,000 responses, which really exceeded mm. our expectations. About 70% of the respondents said that they would be interested in participating in evening programs. And obviously it ran the gamut of people wanting a little bit of this, a little bit of that. You know, language classes, um, you know, um, quilting classes, cooking classes, entertainment, social events for some older people that really aren't able to get out in the evening, maybe because they don't drive, but still want to have that social connection with people. Um, you know, clubs and social events. So there's really no end. We want to be able to provide what the community wants. And, um, you know, so for us it's very exciting. We're, so to start off, we're doing um, a range. We've got some great dance classes we're offering. There's going to be a Latin salsa dance class. There's going to be ballroom dancing. We're going to have um, some exercise programs, some arts and crafts, jewelry making, um, kind of, you know, along the paint night theme. So I think there's a great right. sense where people come in and they get to do those kind of work with their hands. There's a great sense of accomplishment. And right. we're really hoping people, um, of adults of any age, can also come in. That was one of the things that we learned from the survey is there is a need for the town to offer programming, not just to the 50-plus population who, that we target our programs, I mean, I can say personally, I'm in my mid-40s. I'm not ashamed to say that. Um, but, you know, working full-time, limited time for, you know, kind of doing those kind of fun things. I'd love, the staff and I joke all the time. We're not joking. We're actually serious. We'd love to take all the classes um, that happen in here during the day. And now there's a way for us to be able to participate in those programs. So we hope that, you know, the, the, the word will get out there, that this is, you know, not just a, a place for older people, but that we can help, um, you know, um, people of all ages come in and really truly be a multi-generation facility. So how can people get involved um, either by teaching a mm -hmm. workshop or a class or by signing up uh, to do something? Uh, what's going to be the mechanism that the word's going to get out? Yeah, so we're looking at a variety of ways to reach new audiences. Um, you know, obviously on our website we're going to use our social media, we're going to use our, um, our magazine, our Compass magazine that's um, produced on a bi-monthly basis. But we really hope word of mouth. Word of mouth has really always been the best advertiser for us because when people come in here um, and they have a positive experience, which a majority of people do, uh, um, they'll go out and talk to other people, friends, and talk about, you know, you got to check out the senior center. They got a lot of great stuff going on. Um, and so, you know, we're hoping that that's really going to be the source of, of um, new, um, you know, participation um, for us. We're really excited to, you know, because again, we're exploring, this is a new venture for us exploring evening programming that, you know, if there's people maybe that are working full time, but have a hobby or something that they would love to share and, and you know, um, come and, and teach that, please give us a call. The best way to reach us is by just simply calling us at 508-862-4750. Um, we have an excellent activity coordinator, Susan Griffin, who is just really enthused about this, you know, and reaching out to new instructors. Um, but any, anybody who has a passion about anything, we want that, them to be able to share that. Um, and, you know, there's always room for us to, um, you know, kind of, a lot of people, you know, a lot of busy people think there's no time to be creative and do all these things and we got to wait until we retire. Well, you don't. You can do it right now. We want everyone to join in on the fun and it's all contributing to our community being healthy and vibrant and, you know, we want, Barnstable is a very healthy, vibrant, as we know, community right. um, with great programs and services and the more people that can benefit from that, the better for our overall 
you know, sense of well-being in town. It sounds so exciting. I hope you'll be participating. Well, you know, maybe <laughs> salsa or ballroom yeah. dancing, <laughs> or maybe I can teach a video class. Why not? I think that would be wonderful because, again, you know, these are just opportunities for people to stay engaged and learn new skills. And, you know, I'm hoping I'll get over my two left beat syndrome <laughs> by taking a dance class at some point. I think my husband's actually very excited about the ballroom dance class, which I think a lot of people should be. You know, it's a great opportunity for us to be able to, um, you know, bring all of this wonderful programming that um, that we know is kind of one of the best kept secrets in town but now that we can um, venture into the evening you know the more the merrier as we always say fantastic so it starts in October yes and it's gonna run Tuesday Wednesday and Thursday nights yep. varying hours to yep. start um, to eight on the Tuesday Wednesday nine, uh, six on yeah, Thursday six on Thursday yeah and we're Great. hoping like I said you know trying to be sort of mindful that it will take some time to get the word out. So we wanted to kind of start off just to give us some space to kind of fill the space, you know, that, that we're starting off. But then eventually, you know, over time, there'll be such a demand for this um, and such a need that we'll, you know, we'd love to think Monday to Thursday until 9 p.m. Sounds really good to us. And then maybe we can look at the weekends, you know. Um, but right. we're in the process, the, the funding that we got from the town allowed us to hire two part-time staff that would be um, in the building, um, somebody to work at the front desk to help register people and answer their questions um, and also a custodial position um, and so that's really growth for us in that regard as well I mean obviously we have um, you know uh, a need for additional staffing as we kind of work into this new space um, and we're in the process right now of hiring staff that will be you know well trained and we'll give everybody what we hear from people pretty much universally is that when people come in here they get a warm welcome um, we like to get to know everybody on a first name basis here um, and when we did our survey this year we asked the community uh, if they felt if they agreed that the senior center was a vital resource in town and it was an overwhelming we had 98 and a half percent of the respondents said yes we are and so we just want to maximize you know that um, that we're reaching out that more and more people in the community that you know will come in and, and join in on all of the great things that happen here that are really enriching people's lives Fantastic. The Senior Center is thriving and new classes coming in the evenings in October. Thank you so much, Maddie. You're welcome, Paula. Thanks.